Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the Beach at Tech News. I sound kind of excited because I'm always excited. I'm trying to feed this energy to you guys so you guys can get excited as well. So today's video is all about how to defrag drives using PowerShell and Windows Server 2012. Now, if you guys checked out my uh, video about the GUI uh, graphic user interface, how to turn it off and on. Um, this is actually the machine I was using on that video and I left it as core so why not you know core is all the latest thing and I'm trying to learn it as much as possible because I'm supporting it at my job so let's start so what you want to do is I want to get into the PowerShell command and to get into PowerShell command all you gotta do is just write PowerShell hit enter now the way that you know that you're in PowerShell is that you see that PS which stands for PowerShell is right next to your command prompt now I'm gonna do a CD backslash you know, I'm running everything in a virtual machine, so a little th every little things a little slow, you know. Okay, so let's get started. So the command line that you want to use is optimize. Hopefully, I can smell it, spell it right. Volume. And what I normally do is I like to do an analyst on the C drive. You know, you want to run an uh, an analyst on the drive to make sure how healthy it is. And the way that you do it is you're going to run uh, optimize volume C, the C drive, D drive, or whatever drive you want to analyze. And then uh, when you do this, you're not going to see anything. So you have to give it the attribute of Vibros to see the information. And we're going to hit enter. So if everything goes out well, you should see some information like this. And there you go. Okay, it gives you the volume information, fragmentations, files, folders, free space, blah, blah, blah. Now, now if you want to grab this information and import it to a text just to keep like future reference to keep track of how it was, yeah, you know, like yesterday or two weeks ago, you run the same command, but next to the Vbros you want to do a four. And I think that's uh, greater than, yep, greater than. And the location and where you want to drop it. I'm going to drop it on the C drive and I'm going to call it to C drive underscore analyst dot hex. Hit enter and it's going to do its thing and it's done. Now, the way that you want to check it to see if the text file is there, you're going to do a notepad command. Notepad is going to open up. Go to file, open, go into your C drive, and there it goes. Okay, now. It's time to defrag your C drive. Now, to defrag your C drive, I'm going to do a CLS, which is clear. Clear all that nonsense out. And actually, you're going to use the same optimized volume command, but you're not going to use analyst. All you're going to do is Vbros. Okay? Hit enter. And it's, it's defragging it. As you can see right here in the bottom right here is defragging 0%, 2%, 3%. Depending on the size of your hard drive, it should take a long time. For me, it's, it's going pretty fast because, again, this is a virtual machine. It's a small little hard drive, so I don't have a lot to defrag. And we're back. So the defragging is done on the C drive, but before I end this video, I want to show you guys one more thing. So I know a lot of people like to do things remotely now you could do a defrag remotely using PowerShell but you gotta make sure that when you whatever you're defragging it's a Windows 8 platform also a Windows Server 2012 platform so I'm gonna show you guys how to defrag so you're using the same command like I showed you guys okay but rather than that you're going to do a space dash actually let me clear this out so you guys can see and you guys are going to do a dash uh, CIM session and then the name of the server now I don't have a server on up and running on my network uh, but most likely you will write the name on the server you hit enter and it will talk to the server and you're able to defrag a server remotely with this command uh, again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please Twitter it, comment, Facebook it. Do whatever you need to do to share this information out uh, to others. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.